Good morning, Fort McMurray, Wood Buffalo, and the rest of the world. You've tuned in to the Max City Morning Show. I am your host, Elliot Pierre, and we're going to start this show off the same way we start every show off, with a moment of gratitude. I know you could be doing a million other things with your time, so the fact that you're spending with us truly does mean the world to me. So thank you. On that note, Tanner. She caught me, loves. You're listening to the Max City Morning Show. Okay, and we're back. All right, we have a returning guest. I'm very happy to have her here. Last time she was talking about Kumon. I think she has something bigger to talk about this time. As you guys know, I don't introduce my guests because they can do that better themselves. So on that note, can you please reintroduce yourself to the people at home and uh, tell them what your big announcement is? Hey, Fort McMurray, and how are you? This is IJ, the Kumon lady. And thank you, Tanner, for having me again. You're very welcome. Really awesome. Coming back to your studio, I always tell people... uh, uh, Elliot is my brother from another mother. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Yes. And uh, so, what's going on? What's new? What 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 are you doing now outside of Kumon? Uh, I'm running for council for Ward One. There we go. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank so you. I'm gonna ask you the same question that I ask everybody. I'm just gonna get out of the way. Why are you doing this? Why are you running for council? Because I think it's it's crazy and ludicrous. But <laughs> so I, I love to hear people's responses. Uh, So, I've met people in town. I've been going out. I've been talking with people. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's this hunger. There's this hudge to have a new voice, to have a strong voice, to see a definite change within the municipal. Mm -hmm. And uh, I recall coming into Fort McMurray. uh, You know, I told you before we were in Prince George, and I discouraged my husband from doing fly in, fly out. Mm -hmm. I wanted to have a family together. So in 2010, we were here, and I loved the town. And uh, as soon as I got in, I went to Melissa Blake's office, and I said, um, from where I'm coming from, in Prince George, uh, I was part of the International Linkage Committee and also as, uh, part of the UNBC Senate body, uh, worked with the research uh, group, uh, part of the student appeal, and working with uh, young girls and women at the Women's Center as the public relations officer. Mm -hmm. And so volunteering was something huge. So I went to Melissa's office. I said, I'm new in town. I want to get involved. What can I do? Okay. And she was like, wow, this is so cool. When did you come in? I said, just on Monday. And you already in my office? (laughs) And I was like, yes, I want to get involved. And uh, so she sent me to... Uh, there's a site where you have to go to complete some forms. And I got into multicultural, working with multicultural, helping bring out uh, multicultural events. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had a couple of uh, Black History Month, mm-hmm. you know, and also uh, supporting with United Way fundraising. Right. Uh, got involved in my church, MGA Church. Uh, also got involved with... Uh, uh, the boy, uh, big brother, big sister, okay. I volunteer with them. Right on. Yes. Yeah. And um, also with um, the past week first, that was awesome. Okay. Uh, shout out to Dennis for doing a great job. Yeah. You know, I was able to, we were able to raise $600 to support uh, a charity group here. Yeah. Real Both Alliance yeah. and uh, Kwasi Helping Hand. Uh, and um, for Kuman, we supported the. Uh, uh, Wood Buffalo Library during right. the summer program. I did a presentation to encourage kids, mm-hmm. you know, even in summertime to be able to read you mm-hmm. know, and still get engaged. Right. And also with uh, the Norton Life Foundation. Yeah. Also supported. Yeah. And so it has been um, volunteering all the way for me. Mm-hmm. And currently I sit on a couple of boards, yeah. uh, one of which is the Wood Buffalo Development uh, Advisory Board. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you definitely have some experience um, working in the municipality, on boards, volunteering. You're aware of um, the inner workings, which is good because I think a lot of the candidates are, are fresh. Mm-hmm. So to have some experience is, is good. That'll be beneficial to you for sure. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Sure, sure, that will be. What does your family think about this? <laughs> uh, it's not new to them. Okay. Uh, so... For me, good governance began way back in 1982. Okay. When my dad was um, uh, the campaign manager for a local government chairperson for Ward 1. 
and I was part of the strategy uh, team. And I got into university. I was also part of good governance in my university, uh, mm. the student union government. Yeah. And at that time, uh, we were able to ensure that the proceed from the oil boom within my country was put towards developing uh, the universities, making sure we had infrastructures, as simple as having electricity, as simple as having good water, and hostel for the student. Oh, okay. And so coming into Canada and getting involved in the uh, Senate uh, body at uh, UNBC, and also coming into Fort Macquarie, working with the city, working with the mayor and council, uh, it's been a great exposure. Yeah. Yes. And so that experience I want to bring on board. So from a very young age, politics was important to you then? I would say good governance. Good governance. Yes. Okay. What's very the difference? Explain the difference to somebody like myself, a layman. It's, so, you know, with <laughs> politics, people just connote it with negativity. But good governance, it's a lot of uh, positive energy where you do the right thing the first time, where your focus is all about the community, not your individual self, mm -hmm. without any string attached. Mm -hmm. And so I love to say more of good governance. And that is what we need everywhere. Okay. Yes. Okay. So if you are fortunate enough to get into council, what are certain things that like you're focused on that you'd like to see change or like potentially even continue to be worked on? Uh, so for me, I won't say what I want to see. No. Okay. It is what the people have been saying that right. they will want to see. And what have, what have the people been saying? So the first, one of the top one for uh, the, the community is the support for local business. Mm -hmm. And uh, because these are the, the support for local business and the strengthening of our social uh, service, uh, social profit services. Mm -hmm. you know, these are the strength, the heart of the community. Right. Uh, for our local business, uh, you see this frustration. You hear they're tired. You know, trying to do things, there's too many red tapes. Mm -hmm. too many processes to go through to get something simple done. Right. If right. we can reduce those red tapes, it would encourage, optimize efficiency, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. also encourage people to go into local business. That's and right. that will boost our municipal. Yeah. You know, and um, uh, p you hear people say, uh, I know there are too many social profits out there. How can we strengthen them? Right. How can we consolidate why would we want, say, uh, Waypoint or Salvation Army to be thinking about how do they get fun? I, I love to say these are the, sh the hand, mm -hmm. the fingers that get into the community, yeah. where the government, where the municipal can get. Right. So why can't we strengthen them yeah. by collaborating? Yeah. Keep those ones that are doing what is real, what is good, what is beneficial to the community. Yeah. Not seeing it as a job, right? It's something you're doing to strengthen the community. Mm. Let's strengthen them and support them. Yeah. And another thing I hear people talk about is infrastructure. How do really? we imp improve our infrastructure? Okay. And this is as simple as simple as filling up the pothole. The mm. right time, the first time. That's right. Okay. Clearing the pathway, having proper parks for kids to play. Mm -hmm. Can we have an outdoor swimming pool for families? Can we increase the infra infrastructures we have? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I know you guys all heard about Tickwood closing down. That, uh, the YMCA. The YMCA. Oh, the YMCA. The YMCA yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just like Tickwood. What, what is Tickwood? Uh, no, sorry, the yeah. YMCA <laughs> Tickwood, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, yes. that was really sad. That is that and is. And I can loss. tell you, part of the thing I hear, a lot of families cannot afford um, uh, Mark Highland. That's right. Because it's expensive. It is. So families with four kids, five kids, mm -hmm. why should a kid be denied that such fun right. time mm -hmm. because of fun? Mm -hmm. And um, some people get those rebates and all of that. That is if you're working in the oil sands. Right. If you're not, what do you do? That's so right. So we need to have those recreational activities that can help even the very low-income people be able to enjoy and feel at home. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and also part of what I see, were you here in 2016? I'm born and raised here, so oh, the answer geez. is yes. <laughs> so you've seen it I've all. I've seen it all. When we had that fire, yeah, that was a wake-up call for a lot of us. Mm -hmm. But after five years, Fort McMurray is still a dead end. Mm. 
we want to open up Fort McMurray. Mm-hmm. Whether you, be it the Clear uh, Waterways, be it the Highway 686, let's sit down, talk with the uh, government, provincial, federal, come to our head. We need to open up mm-hmm. our community. And that will bring more growth. Mm-hmm. That will help our community. And, and people can see us in a better light. Right. We have a wood buffalo advantage that we can promote. Right. There are things that are particular to the north. Can we put more effort into that to promote it? Some of my friends travel to Germany to just drink beer during the... Oktoberfest. Uh, I know, like, yeah. seriously? Yeah. And they're like, AJ, you cannot believe it. It's so cool. Yeah. So, like, you fly down to Germany, you pay the flight, you stay in a hotel... So there's something there in right. entertainment. That's right. Can we promote art and culture yep. in Fort McMurray? There we go. You know, and also part of the thing people want to see is uh, this collaboration that should happen. Mm-hmm. And I tell people, we have the best consultants yeah. that you can have right. in Fort McMurray. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to bring someone from Toronto That's right. to tell us what to do here. That's right. The best human capital... Yeah. Is in Fort McMurray. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Tanner just hit me up with his phone. That means it's time for the Max City Minute. Okay. Tanner's going to be asking you some questions. Best of luck, Tanner. Hit her with the Max City Minute. All right. Question number one How do you think working with children will help you with your run for council? Oh, lovely. Thank you, Tanner, for that question. Uh, children are the legacy of this community, they are the legacy of any nation. If we can support them in any form or shape, that will help our our city. I will tell you, I met a few uh, grade 12 students, Mm. and I said, you're leaving school. Yeah. When you go, when you want to go to university, are you going to stay in town? Every one of them said no. I said, why? Oh, we don't have a university here. We don't have the uh, the program, the future program that we want to see. So can we... As a community, mayors, council, everyone, are we, can we collaborate with uh, Kiana College and see how we can get more program mm-hmm. for our kids to stay? That's right. We don't want them to leave. Mm-hmm. And being a, a teacher, <laughs> if you may call me that, yeah. these kids can do a lot. That's right. If you keep them here, tap into their minds, yeah. they can get a lot done. There you go. Question number two. How has working with so many local groups and boards in Fort McMurray changed how you see the city? This is the strength of our community. I've gone to the, I've been with Bev. Uh, she runs the uh, uh, urban, uh, the market. Mm-hmm. And uh, these are awesome ladies there mm-hmm. and guys that just want to be able to run their business. But the cost of rental is can be pretty high. Yeah. And you can testify oh, to that. Oh, I can testify to that. <laughs> you, you know. And, <laughs> the and set's not cheap. It's yeah. not cheap. And, yeah. and, and I've seen um, some kids that don't want to play hockey. Yeah. Don't want to swim. They just want to sit down and draw. Mm-hmm. They just want to be an artist. Yeah. Can we encourage that? Yeah. Can we... And, and, and some of them just want to be poet. Mm-hmm. Just write good things. Right. Can we encourage that? Yeah. You know, so social profits are strong, and we need to stand together to support them. And I've spoken with a couple of them, and they all say one thing, yeah. budget, right. money. Do you know how beautiful it is if we're going to have a day, and we have every one of them set up their booth, yeah. and we get the whole community to come out and support them. That's right. There and then, we promoting them. Mm-hmm. It would be awesome. It would be. Question number three, what is one thing you think both Fort McMurray's council shares <clears throat> with the council your dad ran for? What do they share? It's all about the heart of community, serving the people. And that's what we want to see. We want to <laughs> serve the people. It has to be the people first. And that's one thing I love. What, uh, I, I love to hear when I know not everybody... Donald Trump can be controversial, but then yeah. he's American first. Mm-hmm. You know, we want Fort McMurray first. There you go. Question number four. 
What is one thing you think that Fort McMurray's council does better than any other place? The current sitting council, we will want to say thank you. It's not an easy job to put forth your name out there. That's right. And they've laid some good foundations. We're all human. Mm. And we all want to do better and want to see our city do better. Mm -hmm. And and so uh, as much as even helping with twinning the road, uh, as much as seeing that we expand mm -hmm. you know, in our community, that is a great job. And putting out policies. And like I said, I've been working with uh, uh, members of the municipal staffs. Yeah. And um, there are policies for engagement that is going on. Yeah. There's policy for downtown revitalization. There is a program for uh, attracting and retaining people. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to collaborate. We need to work more mm -hmm. to get this thing happening. Message. There you go. Talking to the provincial mm -hmm. to be able to support us to mm -hmm. let that program fl flourish. There you go. That's very good. And your final question, what is one thing you think Fort McMurray needs that we don't have? Hmm. Now, the needs of the people varies. And I'm sure the needs of Tana is different from your need. Yeah. <laughs> and different <laughs> from mine. You could need. say that. <laughs> yeah. But we have experts here that we can tap into their knowledge mm -hmm. that can... Uh, give us local initiatives that can give growth right. within our community. There you go. And so let's maximize that resource. There you and go. Um, people want shops, the ladies, hmm. you know. Uh, the kids want uh, university. Yeah. Uh, some of the guys want, uh, some uh, low-income mothers want a cheaper daycare for them. Uh, and some of them just want to have uh, a cheaper recreational a, a facility for them to just go and pay a little fee and enjoy. That's right. And most especially our indigenous community. Yeah. That is a big win for us if we can promote it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a place where we're so diverse mm -hmm. and our spirit here is strong. Yeah. If we can promote that, we would attract a lot of things. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. And those have been your five questions. There we Thank go. Thank you. All right. Well, we're just going to. Like, yeah, Tanner's hitting his watch. I know we we're going over. So uh, so we're at the part of the show where you get your shameless shout-out or plug, though. So the mic's on you. The camera's on you. I think I know what you're going to promote. But uh, anyways, you're up. Uh, well, I will say thank you, Fort McMurray, and for giving me uh, this opportunity. And uh, October 18, people are uh, coming out to vote. Uh, I would um, say... You know, come out and vote, uh, wherever the person is you put in. I know everybody wants to see Fort McMurray uh, in a great light, uh, in a better position uh, to succeed. And uh, it, it will be my uh, uh, a sense of uh, responsibility and uh, with a spirit of humility uh, I will solicit that you all vote for IJ, which is uh, on October 18, uh, for Ward 1 Cancellor. And I, I really, you know, I, I really doff my heart for everyone that has put out their name there. There you for go. For this year's election. Sweet. And don't forget, Lady IJ, the Kumon lady, bring the kids. <laughs> we'll still teach math and reading to make them better and That's stronger. Awesome. <laughs> So which camera did you see me on when I snuck off there, Tanner? Uh, hers, definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, there's, there was a nice shot of your behind in there, there that go. you just stuck it right out. It looks great. Yeah, enjoy at home for that. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a <laughs> gift to the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming. Do appreciate it. Thank you. Um, obviously, come back again and again as many times as you want to come back. Thank you. That seat is always uh, warm for you. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. All right. Well, for McMurray with Buffalo and the rest of the world, that's been another episode of the Max City Morning Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you're having a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>